For some people, it's hard living with their family. But imagine not just living with your family, but also working and performing with them. That's the story of the ladies. were performing as a family before the family was even complete. Since then, as various members of the family come and go and pursue other interests and start their own families, the Leahys have performed under various configurations. Now they're back with a new project that showcases their unique sound. And to tell us all about it, I'm now joined by three of the Leahy sisters, Denise, Maria, and Erin. Welcome. So good to see you again. Nice to be here. After, what, 13 years? I know, it's been a while. <laughs> World Youth Day 2002. So you grew up on a farm, no TV, 11 brothers and sisters. At some point there were 11 of you. <laughs> Maria, what was it like growing up in the Leahy family? Uh, it was great. It was exciting. It, it was. It was exciting. It was stimulating. It was busy. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, there was always a lot going on. And uh, of course, we were playing a lot of music. We played a lot of sports. Um, we grew up on a farm. And so. So, did you have to work? Did you have chores on the farm? Working was, yeah, that was a big deal. Like every day there was work to do. Uh, the boys, the guys, you know, spent a lot of time outside on the farm. But the girls did Absolutely. things as well. Did you have to oh. go and milk? What, no, no we, not we, like milking the no, cow farm. It, that wasn't our type of farm. We were beef cattle okay, farm. Okay, okay. Um, but, oh, girls, guys, every pair of hands had a job to do. Okay. And so music, I mean, obviously it was a musical household. Um, your parents are musicians, I, I presume. Yes. Were they professional musicians or just kind of like Denise? Were they? Yeah. No, they were. It's actually quite interesting because were they professional mu musicians? Yeah. They did music their whole life, lives, and like it started for them as well as young people in their families. What did you do for social? You played music, whether it was through your community or church okay. or whatever. Yeah. When mom and dad got married, they carried on and they had their band, their orchestra, that they played constantly. And this is when we were little ones coming along. Mm -hmm. Mom and dad were always out and playing. So. It was just the, the, the way it was. It was the environment. Now, did you have to did you have to do piano lessons and like was that part of the you ought to go to school and, and study math so you better study music too? <laughs> it, it wasn't that way so much. Um, Mom and Dad created a musical environment, so we grew up, you know, listening to music and knowing music before we started to take lessons. Um, and so there was probably an interest and curiosity that was fostered before the lessons started. Right. But then mom and dad, yes, they, they encouraged us to, to take lessons yeah. and set lessons up. And so eventually, yes, we did take lessons. So Erin and your parents, so what do they, they play? Mom plays piano yeah. and she was a singer, she is a singer, and step dancer, and dad plays fiddle. Lots of music in the house, um, also lots of faith. Denise, can you tell me what, what it was like oh, in terms absolutely. of faith? absolutely. And you know, it's interesting to reflect on that now as an adult, as a parent, uh, I know myself now, in yeah. that our faith was uh, just always so present and always there, even though sometimes as kids you weren't always paying attention in the sense. In our uncle, Father Leo, my dad's brother was a priest, a priest. yes, okay. and uh, he's passed away now. but. From a very young age, he was like part of the family. We were always close by, and the amount of time we spent with Father Leo was just—I'm um, so grateful for. Yeah. Um, with Mom and Dad, the faith was the most important thing in the house, but it wasn't uh, like it, it was just the layers were there, the depth was there, the prayer was there, and I just can't imagine our lives today, like especially with the industry that we're in and whatnot. Without that, so but so so it sounds like what you're saying is that it was just normal. Oh, very normal. It was normal, and but not just going to church on Sunday. It was sort of day to day. But 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 faith being in normal things and not normal things, there is no di separation. Yeah, yeah. You if you're on a soccer team, you approach it with 
decency and faith. Yeah, your I faith um, forms your attitude toward playing soccer. Your faith forms your attitude toward going right. out for pizza with people. Right. Your faith form, uh, and it is the foundation how you handle whatever your situation is in life that you find yourself in. And I know for us, mom and dad didn't tuck us away to only be in certain situations. Uh -huh. They exposed us to the world and whatever came to us, we had, I thank God, the tools to handle whatever came. Interesting. Okay, you weren't homeschooled, were you? No. No, okay. Interesting. Um, Aaron, uh, um, you're one of the, oh, I, I presume that, I don't know if you all write songs, but I know Aaron, you are one of the songwriters. Um, there's a particular song that I love that you wrote, A Love Never Known. Um, can you tell me about that? Because I, I, I don't know, I hear it and it's about a wedding, is it about a funeral, yeah. is it about uh, heaven, yeah. <laughs> is it about communion? It's so interesting because uh, that song, first of all, it was written very quickly. It was in, initially it was an instrumental piece that I was trying to write and then thought, oh, it would be nice to be a song. And we weren't even planning on recording it on our album. Um, and we were in the studio kind of at a, we had a block you know, we were at that moment, and someone said, I think it was Denise, said, let's throw this down, let's, let's record this song. So we did. We took just a few hours, and, mm -hmm. and we recorded A Love Never Known, and it's one of our favorites as well. Absolutely. To, what's uh, it about? So it's about, and you, you mentioned it's funerals and, and, <laughs> and weddings. weddings. And it has been used, I guess, we've, we've heard from different people, for, for all kinds of things. And everybody, uh, who, well, are, it's sort of subjective what people take from that from that song so we're learning what it means to other people and what it's about but it's really about discovering God's love well why don't we have a listen because Denise Maria and Aaron were in our studio earlier and they recorded a love never known so here they are Thank you. 
was Denise, Maria, and Aaron Leahy with A Love Never Known, recorded earlier in our studio. I'm here with Denise, Maria, and Aaron. Um, so d did your parents have a plan, L I'm like the Von Trapp family singers, let's, let's make these children into professional singers? Or, or how did you end up doing what you're doing now? <laughs> uh, I would say no, they didn't have a plan. Uh, what they they did have intentions to develop uh, the music that they saw in their children. Of course, we didn't understand that as, when we were young, um, and so uh, so they raised us, you know, playing music, and it became much, very much a way of life. Uh, but as we all grew up, we all had different interests. Mm -hmm. But music kept pulling us back. People would, you know, request certain uh, performances. They they'd ask us, you know, to play music here and there, and so. Uh, we just continued to be, you know, asked to play music, and one thing led to another, and so um, it ended up that yes, the majority of our time was spent playing music. But prior to that, people were pursuing other interests. Okay, so when you're not, you're not all professional, full-time musicians, is what you're saying. We are, yes, we are now. But <laughs> okay. there was a stage okay. in our life okay. where uh, we no doctors, teachers, no engineers, well, no astronauts. Ray is a teacher. No. Are you? Yeah. Mm. Good. <laughs> You've won four Junos. You've gotten other awards as TV specials. What's the one, maybe each of one of you can give me a highlight of mm. your career as Leahy? Oh dear. I've never thought about that. World Youth Day, other than World Youth Day, because I was involved in that. Well, I can say that one of my favorite performances was in Quebec, and it was many years ago now at the, fe the Festival d'Été in the summertime, right in old Quebec City. And um, we played, I think, two nights in a row at this outdoor event, and it poured rain one of the nights, and, but it was just um, the spirit of the people there and the, uh, the French people are so expressive mm -hmm. and so to be receiving that as a performer is quite something and they understand the, mu the music that we were, right. we were playing as well right. so that was a highlight for me and it continues to be yeah yeah, yeah good, like good energy I mm -hmm. guess yeah. yeah cool do you know what mine is very recent mm -hmm. and li recently we did live uh, a new song mm -hmm. and it's the feeling I got from doing the new song in that it translated and, and when you do a song for the first time live, you get a vibe and a feeling for, you know, how is it working around and it felt so good. It was mm -hmm. very rewarding to feel that because it felt different. Mm -hmm. And oh, I loved it. So that's interesting. That's my interesting. thing. Mm -hmm. When when something you you, you put your yourself into and you get back the feeling from it. So, right. yeah. Do you have one, Maria? Um, mine will be a little bit more general, and it, it, it's, the, it's, it's just the realization uh, of what we have been doing and what we've been able to do, knowing how many really talented artists are out there, and to realize that we, we get to play music, create music, record music, share music, um, you know, uh, as much as we do. And just yeah, mm -hmm. that appreciation, that that reality, mm -hmm. is 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 a major highlight. So you have a new project, mm -hmm. the Leahys and Song, five sisters, one brother. What what's what's that all about? Who should I ask? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the instigator? Well, oh, that's a funny question. Who is the instigator? It's not even the instigator. Over the years, as you, as you mentioned, that with a family our size and from starting at this age and growing up, you go through all kinds of stages and phases and what have you. And we looked at each other and said, why, we have never done this. We have never taken this, as, as we say, take the spotlight and shine it on the vocal side of our life. Our mom um, sang as a young girl, like, and it would be in her church or it would be at the concerts, the local concerts, and singing was a, a really significant part of her life. I think when she had all of us, there wasn't, she didn't give as much time to her mm -hmm. singing. So um, we just kind of all said, this is something that we've never done before. We need to do this. And that is the motivation, I think. And so as a result, though, too, you start to look at, over the years, the bank of material that 
um, was sitting there and never brought to the surface. Mm -hmm. And so we really want to do this together. So it's mostly songs that you've written, not so much the fiddling and the step dancing, although there's a little bit of that. A little bit of that. And there always will be like that. It's in our bones. Mm -hmm. Like yes. it's, you know. Mm -hmm. yes. But, but at, as um, was mentioned earlier, we have listened to so many different types of music and are influenced by them. And, and so our songwriting can cover a wide yeah. range. Yeah. Yeah. And lots of beautiful harmonies, as we just heard. Um, one last song that you, you co-wrote, Friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe, Denise, tell me about that song. That song, it's, uh, it, 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 this was one of the songs where it starts in one country and you take it to another city and another part gets written and it kind of okay. evolved that way. And we all um, collaborated on the writing of this song. Mm -hmm. and, and obviously a reflection on friend and friendship and the meaning of that. That's lyrically what it's about. And it was from a television show. It was a tribute show to, was it to B.B. King or something? Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder was singing a song and, and his comment was, I'm right here with you, friend. Mm -hmm. And I went, ah, oh, that's beautiful. And so then I bounced it off of these ladies and all of a sudden it came back in a form, like, and it's just the way it happened. Mm -hmm. And so this is a, I love this song. I really do. I, it's meaningful to me. Well, oh, good. And we're going to leave you with that song. I'm here with Denise, Maria, and Aaron Leahy, their new project, The Leahy's In Song. You can find out more at their website, thelehys.ca. And you're in the Toronto area. The Leahy's will be performing The Leahy's In Song at Toronto's Kerner Hall on Tuesday, April 28th as a benefit for Salt and Light Television. You can get tickets and find out more at saltandlighttv.org slash Leahy's. And you can always write to us, tell us, what you, if you have any questions or any comments you'd like to make about this program or any of our Catholic Focus programs, focus at saltandlighttv.org. I'm Deacon Pedro, and here now are Denise, Maria, and Aaron Leahy with Friend. friend.
blood.